Hello again ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Handy, the Android Authority App Guy, and we have made it around the sun at least one more time together. That means it's time to round up the best new Android apps that were released over the course of the last year. If you want to check out any of these apps for yourself, you can find those links in the video description below. Adobe released a handful of Android apps this year, and instead of putting them individually on the list, we're going to group them all together. The biggest releases included Adobe Photoshop Fix, Photoshop Sketch, and Adobe CompCC. The first one is a photo editing tool that gives you some pretty decent tools and controls to fix your photos. Photoshop Sketch is a drawing application with a few pro-level features. Finally, CompCC allows you to create designs that can then be ported over to other Adobe apps. They all work pretty well, although you may need a Creative Cloud subscription to utilize their full potential. Brave Browser has an interesting history. Okay, so get this, late last year, the popular Linkbubble browser was rebranded as Brave Browser. Then in late 2016, the application was re-rebranded as Linkbubble and Brave Browser saw a fresh release. This browser is based off of Chromium, so the interface should be familiar for most people. It also comes with built-in ad block, along with additional security and privacy features. It's a solid browser overall, and probably the best one that comes with built-in ad block. One of the biggest announcements at Google I.O. was Chrome Custom Tabs. It's essentially an instance of Google Chrome that opens as an in-app browser. Chromer is an application that essentially gives every single application a Chrome Custom Tab. It works by intercepting links and then opening it up in its own Chrome Custom Tab instance. It's a relatively simple application to use. Once you fire it up, you forget about it and it'll just open web pages for you as you go. It also has a web heads feature that allows you to load websites in the background and then open them later. You can download it for free or pick up the pro version for $4.54. EV Launcher flew under the radar for much of 2016. For those who don't know, it's a minimal launcher that uses a no app drawer premise. You are instead given a slide out alphabetical list of your applications or you can search for them manually. It also comes with customization features to help make you feel right at home. It's not as feature heavy as something like Nova Launcher, but it does have more options available than something like Google Now Launcher. It's pretty good and it's also completely free. We don't usually do social media applications for best of the year candidates. However, Flamingo for Twitter is just just that good. It features comprehensive multi-account support that includes per-account theming options and settings. On top of that, the interface and layouts are pretty customizable. There are also a good set of Twitter-specific features, and the application just works really well. It's a pay-once app like most Twitter apps, but it's definitely worth the charge. Even in beta, it was one of the best Twitter apps out there. After a long time of simply being integrated into a ton of other products, Giphy went ahead and released their official Android app. With it, you'll have one of the most solid and reliable source of GIFs on the entire internet. The application is designed simply and takes a lot of its design cues from the actual website. Thus, using both interchangeably provides a level of familiarity. You'll be able to search for keywords or browse GIFs based on pre-made categories by the site. If you use or enjoy GIFs whatsoever, you'll want to give this one a shot. Google Allo and Duo caused quite a stir when they were first released. After all, we had been waiting for them for months and what we got wasn't quite what we expected. Even so, over the course of the last few months, both have become pretty decent chat platforms. Duo's primary strength is its ease of use and cross-platform support. Allo boasts the only non-pixel way to access Google Assistant. We expect them both to get a lot better as time goes on, so even if you're not interested right now, do make sure to keep them on your radar. Isotope is an educational app. Its purpose is to show you the facts and data about the periodic table of elements, and it does so quite well. It features information on 118 elements along with theming, high quality images, no advertising, a search feature, and a temperature unit chooser. The free version comes with some basic info while the pro version offers an additional theme and more detailed info about every element. It's a bit niche, but the design of this application is impeccable and it's definitely the best at what it does. Quick is a simple video editing application that was released by GoPro and it takes a simpler approach to video editing. You'll take a bunch of clips and then the application will try to thread them together into a fun little highlight reel. This can of course be shared on social media when you're finished. It comes with some video editing options and you can do some of the cutting yourself. It's not a full featured video editing tool, but it's definitely good enough for mobile use most of the time. Parcel Track is a fun little application that helps you track your packages. It works by taking tracking numbers and then keeping a detailed list for you to check back on when you want to. It supports most carriers around the world and it's a good place to put all of your shipments into a single spot. You get a decent amount of features in the free version, while the premium users will also get push notifications, a barcode scanner, syncing between Android devices, and more. It's a must-have if you ship or receive shipments regularly. 
Prisma was one of this year's most viral applications. It hit the scene and was so popular that the app's servers actually crashed. For those who don't know, Prisma is a photo filter app that uses neural networks and artificial intelligence to rebuild your photos from the ground up with these new filters. Admittedly, the results aren't as awesome as the tech behind it sounds, but you do get a selection of some pretty unique filters that people really do seem to enjoy. SKRWT bills itself as an advanced photo editing and camera app. Its big draw is its in-app extensions that allow for even more advanced editing tools. They are called MRRW and Four Points, which allow for things like perspective correction, mirror effects, image manipulation, and more. It's not as loaded with tools as some photo editing apps, but it does have some fairly unique tools that nobody else really has. You can get the application for free, and the various plugins will require in-app purchases in order to get. Swipe for Facebook is probably the best Facebook alternative out there. Its claim to fame is its customization. On top of having theming support, you can actually change the layout of the app to make it work how you want. You can even make it look like Google Plus, for instance. As a whole, it works pretty well, or at least as well as can be expected as a third-party app to a site that hates third-party apps. You can pick it up for free and check it out, and there is a separate app for those who want widgets. Trusted Contacts is a pretty awesome little app from Google. The basic premise is that you use it to assign yourself a trusted contact. Those contacts can then ping the application as to your whereabouts if they think that you're in trouble. You can block the request simply by responding to the app in a reasonable amount of time. It likely isn't great for everybody, but there are some situations where it can be great. For instance, having an older relative who is ill or having a kid who is out trick-or-treating on Halloween. In any case, it's completely free if you want to check it out. Chroma Keyboard is the biggest keyboard release in 2016. Its original claim to fame is its adaptive theming that changes the keyboard theme based on what app you're using. Updates over the course of the year have added additional features to round out an already pleasant experience. The keyboard also does the basics like gesture controls, autocorrect, and a lot more, and there's even a night mode along with a neural network powered prediction engine if you want those. Its original release wasn't all that impressive, but a steady stream of big updates over the course of the year kept making it better and better. Overall, we're choosing it as the best Android app released in all of 2016. And that about does it for this one, folks. If you want to keep watching, we have plenty of other best app list videos out there, and we have them linked up on the screen there and in the video description below. Don't forget to check out the video description below for the links to these apps if you want to check them out, and keep it tuned to Android Authority because we are your source for all things Android. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a wonderful day.